What's interesting about Tchaikovsky Padada is the music was originally part of Swan Lake. And Balanchine decided to take just this little section of music and create this amazing ballet. The piece is very short, it's very high energy. You can play with the music so intricately. And it's all done in about 12 minutes. Every time I do it, I find out something different that I didn't know about my dancing. One of the great things that I think about Chai Pa is that it takes a tremendous amount of risk. For me, I think that's just trust, you know, how much you can trust your partner, how much you can trust yourself how much you can challenge yourself, how far you can go on point, how quickly you can move your feet. The audience can see that it's pushing the dancers. The ballet starts out with a very sweet romantic pas de deux. Whenever Balanchine choreographs to Tchaikovsky's music, there's a certain sensitivity. There's this part in Tchaikovsky Padada where the girl runs and she's in a lunge and the guy kind of just takes her arm and makes her suit new. And I think that those are nuances that the audience can see. The coda begins with my partner doing a series of jumps across the stage and I start jumping from one side to the other on point. And then I really travel in a menage of pique turns very quickly into the wings. And then finally, when I'm exhausted, <laughs> you start doing some forte turns. But I add in a double here or there, or a triple if I'm really lucky. And I like to use a porter bra with the arm just because I think it looks a little bit more exciting. But then you get to do these enormous fish dives where you jump as far as you can away from your partner. It's exciting for me and it's definitely more exciting for the audience. Sometimes you can even hear them gasp. It's incredible to dance and I think it's amazing to watch. <laughs> 